Okay, so maybe you think, wow, $5,000. Like, that's so much money, there's no way I'm gonna be able to save $5,000. I have such an easy tip for you guys. I have just started doing this myself and it's unbelievable. So I'm going to share it with you. You need a few things that don't cost much money. The first thing you're going to need is envelopes see these envelopes right here these envelopes i got from the dollar store and they were a dollar each you got 40 envelopes i bought three packages because you need 100 envelopes so first things first you need envelopes 100 of them next you need a pen so you can write on your envelopes and then the next thing you need is money to put into your envelopes. And then the last thing that you need, you don't need, it's optional, but I think it's cool, is a sticker to seal your envelope after you've put the money in it. So you're like, wow, you have all these envelopes and this money and how does this work? And okay, well, let's break it down. So what I did was on both boxes, I put one to 50, number one to 50 on this box. And on this one, I put 51 to 100. So basically what you're gonna do is, you're going to take every single envelope that you have, all 100 of them. And on each envelope, you're going to put numbers. Every envelope will have a number. So you're just gonna go in sequence. Number one, number two, number three, number four, and so on. You're going to number every single envelope until you have the numbers one through 100 on each envelope. So I did that, I put one through 100, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, all the way to 100, one number on each envelope. And then every week, I randomly pick two envelopes from my stacks that I have here. So like for instance, random, random picks here. We'll pick envelope number 15, and I'll randomly pick out of this one, envelope number 94. So now I have two envelopes. Now I like to pick one envelope out of each box. So I'll pick one envelope from the one through 50 box, and I'll pick another envelope from the 51 to 100 box. That way, I make it even each week that I, you know, play this game of envelopes. And so what you do is when you have your envelopes, envelope 15 and envelope 94, that's how much money that you're going to put in each envelope. So you're going to put $15 in the number 15 envelope, and you're going to put $94 in the 94 envelope. Now, let's say that you are running a little low on cash the week that you pick the 94 envelope. If you know you're going to run low on cash that week, you know, maybe you only have a little bit of money to be able to buy groceries or pay bills, that's okay. Take the 94, put it back, swap it with an envelope that you know for that week that you'll be able to afford to put money in and not take it out. The whole point of this is, so the money is in the envelope and you don't touch it. So in order to really meet this goal and do the very best you can, make sure that whatever amount of money in the envelopes you pick, you are able to afford to leave it and not touch it until the next, you know, the end of the year. And don't forget now, if you put this 94 back, you're gonna come back to it eventually. 
So just keep that in mind. Just because you're not using that 94 envelope right now, it's still going to be there. You're still going to have to fill the $94, okay? So once you have your money in your two envelopes, what I like to do is take these stickers and instead of sealing this envelope, don't seal it by licking it. Seal it by using a sticker because number one, you're still sealing it, okay? You're still gonna keep it closed because you're putting that sticker on and now you know that envelope is done. You don't have to touch it anymore. And number two, by sealing this envelope with a sticker, you can also reuse your envelopes. So you can get years out of these envelopes by using stickers. It's unheard of, right? You're saving money, plus saving money. Genius. So I like to use the stickers. I think I have a couple of envelopes already that I have put a sticker on. Let me see. Of course, I can't find one when I need one. Oh, here we go. This one I've already sealed. The number 26 envelope. This one already has a sticker, so I know that I don't have to go back to this one because I've already done it. So if you're randomly picking envelopes and you're like, oh my God, this one already has a sticker, you just put that one right back in and grab one that doesn't have a sticker. And that's really it. So after you filled all these envelopes with money, after your 52 weeks of the year are up, and you have picked two envelopes every week for 52 weeks, you will have $5,000. And that is a lot of money. Now, I'm doing this envelope challenge um, because I want to have a little extra money when my son starts college in the fall to pay for books and fees and things like that. So that's why I'm doing it. Um, but you could do it for many reasons. You know, if you want to buy an item, maybe like a computer or a TV, or you just want to save a little extra money, or you want to take a vacation. Maybe you want to buy someone else something nice. Or maybe you just kind of want to have some extra money laying around, you know, in case you want to use it for something later. Maybe you're not sure, you don't have an idea right now, but you know saving is good. This is a great way to do it. And it's, you know, it's, it's easy, it's cheap. You don't even think about it. And so that's really it. Um, you know, I, I'm sure if you wanted to, you could do half, like maybe one through 25, if you know, that would be easier for you. I think it comes out to $1,275 or I'm sorry, no, not, yeah. If you, no, if you do one to 50, I think it's $1,275 that you save. You'll have to do the math. You just add one plus two plus three, plus four, and, and so on and so on to get you to whatever number. If you're gonna do one through 25, then you would add those numbers in sequence until you get to 25. So I think that um, if you did one through 25, I'm gonna say it was like $325 you would save, and so on. So you just pick, you know, pick whatever. If you can't do the one to 100, then start something, you know, a little bit lower. But for me, I'm going all in because I want to save $5,000 and I know that by doing envelopes one through a hundred, I will. And so that's it, you guys. Super easy, quick tip for you. Maybe something that you might be interested in. If you have a job and you want to save some cash, this is a great way to do it. So yeah, but that's it for this week. So I really hope that you try to make this work. Um, I, if you have any suggestions for me on how you save money and what easy way you found, I would love to hear it. Um, please share below in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you all have a great week. Take care. Bye.